You know I love showing off chips. So this is the very first 7 nanometer x86 mobile processor. And in this form factor that fits into ultra-thin laptops, we have eight cores and 16 threads in a very, very, very powerful device. Now, let me tell you what I mean. Thank you. Let me tell you what I mean when I say this is disruptive performance, OK? We always say that every generation looks better than the previous generation. But this is really special. And what you have here is actually the last five or six years of laptop performance, both from our competition as well as from ourselves. And this is looking at um, a typical processor that would go into a 15-watt um, ultra-thin design. And what you can see is that there have been improvements each year, um, incremental improvements. But you haven't seen that big performance leap, that big jump. And what we've done with the third gen Ryzen and the Ryzen 4000 series is we've created just that jump. We wanted to be above the historical curve. We wanted to push the envelope. And that's the combination of all the technologies that I talked about earlier. And what that means is you get a lot more capability in the hands of users when you're using the Ryzen 4000 series. And the way you should think about it is this goes across a number of different markets. So you know, the ultra-thin laptop is perhaps the sexiest form factor when you think about laptop form factors. And we're always trying to make them smaller and thinner and lighter and uh, longer battery life. But we also have a very growing segment in the, um, the gaming and the creator segment where you want desktop-like performance in a mobile form factor. And you'll see that in our H-series um, products, as well as the very important commercial space. So at the end of the day, there are lots of businesses that need um, new notebooks. And what we want to ensure is that not only do they have the performance capability, but they also have the manageability and the security and all of those other features. So you will see Ryzen 4000 series over a number of different um, markets and form factors. Now, just a little bit about specs. When you look at the specs of the Ryzen 4000 series, uh, we'll start at the top of the stack for the ultra thins. So this is the Ryzen 7 4800U. And what you see is it has eight Zen 2 cores, 16 threads. It goes up to 4.2 gigahertz. It has eight Radeon cores. And when I spend a minute on the graphics cores, we've actually done a tremendous amount of optimization around these graphics cores. So they're based on our Vega architecture but they actually have 59% more performance than the previous generation. And that's all the design optimization that's been done. And all of this fits in a 15 watt envelope. So that's an incredible amount of technology in 15 watts. And if you take a look at how we perform versus our competition, uh, what we're comparing against here is the competition's latest generation, 10th generation Ice Lake in 10 nanometer. So this is um, what they have in store right now. And what we show is the Ryzen 4000 series is higher on single-threaded performance. Higher on single-threaded performance. It is 90% higher on multi-threaded performance. And it is significantly higher on graphics performance. So when I say it's simply the best laptop processor that's been built, I think I've shown it in these numbers. Now, when you move over to the creator land, you know, think about this still 15 watt form factor. There are lots of productivity tasks that you want to do in this form factor. You can see that computing power really comes to life. So whether you're talking about video transcoding, video editing, other large compute tasks, what we're showing is greater than 25%, in some cases close to 50% more performance in these tasks. And what that means is you can get a lot more done in a lot less time. And that's really the focus of all of this technology innovation. Now, one of the important things 
obviously, for the laptop market is battery life. And battery life is about an optimization of so many different things. And so I'm really pleased to say that in Ryzen 4000 series, we've really, really optimized the overall power efficiency of the device. And what you can see is more than double the power efficiency, so the performance per watt compared to our previous generation. And that's really coming from the 7 nanometer process gains, as well as all of the work we've done in design and architecture. So again, what you can expect is leading performance with all day battery life with Ryzen 4000 series. Now, let's talk a little bit about systems. So there are going to be lots of systems in market with Ryzen 4000. But let me show you one of the first, which is the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7. All right, so let's take a look at this guy. So Lenovo this morning actually uh, launched their Yoga Slim 7. This is the world's thinnest and lightest eight-core laptop. It actually has the flagship Ryzen 7 4800U. It's less than 15 millimeters thick. It has a DDR4X, and it has a FreeSync 14-inch full HD display. So you can see it's really a beautiful form factor, but it's just an example, if you can imagine, eight cores and 16 threads in this type of device. OK, so it's all about systems, and it's all about putting this technology into action. I'm very happy to announce today that in the first quarter of 2020, you'll see over a dozen designs with our Ryzen 4000 series. And you can expect over 100 designs across ultra-thin gaming, as well as commercial, throughout 2020. So how does that sound for transforming the, the laptop market? Now, you're going to see a little bit more about uh, Ryzen 4000 in action later on when we show you some gaming performance. But for now, let's transition over to 